Uh, my name is Cynthia. I work for App Academy. I am one of their senior instructors and I am from Los Angeles. I am a high school teacher. Before App Academy, I decided to join App Academy so I could work potentially on things like ed tech. And I decided to be an instructor. There was an opening, and it was just a great middle ground between me and my, from me as a teacher to me becoming a software dev. I came into work at 8.30 to prep for my lecture about user authentication. The students, they're in week four out of the 12 week course and the current cohort, they've just learned Rails, the beginning of Rails the week before. So they just learned about models and migrations, controllers and routes, and user auth really marries everything together into one cohesive project. So for user auth, we hand roll our own type of authentication. So pretty much students have to learn how to create users and log them in. Number two, log in existing users, and three, logging out these existing users. So most of the time in industry, you're not going to handle authentication, but it is an important process to see all of these moving parts, and it really helps you get to learn Rails much faster um, through this project. We pretty much walk through the students um, La, one, how to create users and log them in. And then so I have Steven with me who is, I'm pretty much telling him what to type and he is like typing it for me. That way the lecturer can really focus on what the content is at hand um, instead of uh, like typing in the wrong thing and losing your thoughts. So the idea is that we're just open the Rails project just like how the students will do it and we just talk out what the methods are. And it's all in like a logical order. We write the code to what we need to demonstrate at that moment. Um, I meet with Rose every Tuesday and I meet with her because we share the same circle. We usually discuss like how was your last week, um, any students that we need to talk to this week, for example any students that have mentioned that they were struggling, maybe wrote a report but it wasn't as positive. We also talk about because we're pair pro the students are pair programming so often they write reviews on each other so anytime a student historically gets like low reviews we kind of want to talk to them and let them know that well, this is only week four, and we still have about four more weeks of pair programming. Um, this, these are ways to improve. So just ways like to check up on our students. And then um, we had some extra time, so we started looking at new documentation for React 17. I just really enjoyed how we had some time during the workday to kind of look at these new updates so that, you know, you can stay fresh. The questions kind of evolve throughout the 12 week course. And so, because we run through so many topics quickly, the questions really pertain to whatever tech or language we're using at the time. Every cohort, they have their own Slack channel. So, anytime a student has a question, they just post it in their chat room, and then lo and behold, people from their cohort or TAs will be answering. And this happens on the weekend and on the weekday. And I think that really builds the culture of App Academy that, um, that we're all kind of doing this together and you're not alone. Usually the error shows up and there's something called a stack trace. Pretty much it tells you which line of code did it error out on. So I usually, the dialogue that they should be thinking about trying to debug, I kind of uh, say that out loud. So I ask them, okay, what does the stack trace tell you right now? And then so we kind of go from there. If they say, I don't know, then we're kind of it, dissect that stack trace. If they do know, I'll prod a little bit more and then I'll ask them, so why do you think that it's happening like this? Those are the things that you would need just starting out in software development. If you don't have the skills to debug, it's really hard picking up something new. Ooh, I feel like so. Um, I've been a TA for 
four to five cohorts now, and every single time we do a project, I would just imagine that I would get bored. But there's always new updates to the software, and you hit all of the strangest bugs. So definitely what we call bug hunting is one of my favorite parts, which is pretty much what we help students with. Um, we, don't, we never really tell them exactly how to do it. We help them decipher what the error is so that they can kind of see our thought process so that they will in turn get better over time.